Well, it's the end of March and we're out in the bear woods. We're helping Kaylin's dad, Mike, and his good buddy, Garrett, set up their first ever bear bait. It's for life, eh? Kaylin, Mike, and Garrett are all out trying to get their first ever bears this year. And I'm thinking it's gonna be an awesome little friendly competition and a great way to enjoy some beautiful spring weather. And I'm excited to be along for the ride. First ever a tree kill. This will be my first uh, attempt at a black bear. With Mike and Garrett having some great early success, Dad and I set up a brand new bait site in a new area, and with some big bears hitting the bait, it's time for Kaylin to put in some tree stand time. <laughs> that was exciting. My name is Mitchell Payment. I started tagging along with my dad to go hunting basically since I learned to walk. I grew up living the outdoor lifestyle, learning from my dad and any hunting video I could get my hands on as a kid. It became evident it wasn't only a lifestyle, but it was also my biggest passion in life. Nice shooting, buddy. Welcome to season six of Moment of Truth TV. my dreams. After all these years and the amazing experiences with loved ones, I've never been more thankful to be a hunter. Enjoy the show. If there ever was a bear season that I was a little more excited for, it had to be this one. Not only was I looking forward to getting out with my dad to do some hunting of my own, enjoying the spring weather and the bush coming to life around us with new growth, and also being able to do the same with Kaylin in hopes that all the time she's accumulated in the bear stand would be rewarded with her first ever bear. But this year, we were also going to have the pleasure of helping Mike and Garrett, once partners in the line of duty, take the bear woods by storm. Being fairly new to hunting, but coming off a successful deer season, when the end of March rolled around, we found ourselves heading to the same area that we had baited prior in hopes to help them set up a deadly bait of their own. Using the iHunter app, we were able to locate a spot on Crown Land that looked like it'd be a great location for the bait. Well, it's the end of March. It's a miserable day, real windy. We just got here with Kalen's dad, Mike, and his good buddy, Garrett. They're gonna be setting up their own bear bait in here. We just kind of came along to kind of point them in the right direction. We found a great spot in here. We just went for a little walk. We got some chainsaw to do to get down this old beat up cut line. We're gonna try to get the quad in there, get the stand set up, and I think they're gonna have a lot of fun in here. And they're calling themselves the heartbeat hunters because they're new to bow hunting and anything that comes in is dead by the sounds of it. So we're gonna send them a camera this this spring here and see what they can capture, but it should be exciting. I think there's gonna be a friendly competition between Kaylin and her dad who can get the bigger bear. So we're gonna get after here and uh, hopefully get this done before dark. So let's go. head on out of here and now all we gotta do is wait for some bears to show up and we'll be sending some victory arrows their way. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by RV City. Generations of family fun. Old Smokes Coffee. Coffee for the courageous. iHunter app. Know your rags inside and out. Black Widow Deer Lures. Number one whitetail estrus and deer scents. Tacticam. Share your hunt. Sights and Arms. Your firearm specialists. Prime Archery, the most accurate bows on the planet. 
and by Huntworth Gear when concealment matters the most. As the spring days went on, Mike and Garrett made another trip out to load up the bait with some more meat and to set up a reveal cellular camera for some instant feedback on when the first bear arrives. After leaving, the waiting game continued, but not for long as a picture rolled in of the first bear finding the bait. The floodgates were now opened as more and more bears started to hit the bait, and some nice ones at that. Overwhelmed with excitement and a nice bear coming in this morning in the rain, it was time for the heartbeat hunters to head in with Mike up to bat. Shortly after getting into the stand, they caught a glimpse of Black walking through the bush. What looked to be a nice bear circling downwind, Mike and Garrett sat in the rain for hours waiting for a closer look, but unfortunately never got one. The next day with a lot nicer conditions, they were heading right back in hoping for a closer encounter. Day number two sitting in here. Ah! All ready today. Bait set. Looks like they've been here overnight. Ah! Now it's just a sit and wait. Once again, they caught movement in the bush out in front, but this time it was coming right for them. With this beautiful bear coming right in to enjoy some blueberry pie, he laid down facing them, never presenting a shot. Mike having to be patient, after 10 minutes had passed with the bear turning, Mike saw his opportunity to take his shot. After getting the BBD text, I couldn't have been any happier to hear Mike was able to get his first ever archery kill on a beautiful black bear. So here it was, day two. Uh, heartbeat hunters, helped out by Mitchell Payment, moment of truth. We had this fine young boar come in and uh, present us with uh, an opportunity to harvest a black bear. This would be our first archery kill ever uh, of a big game animal. Just happened to be a black bear. Prime Archery CT5 with the uh, Victory Vapolite arrows with the dead meat broadhead. Mechanical. Stop this big fella in his tracks. No need to track, no need to go anywhere. Just an absolute amazing day. Can't thank everybody enough. It's been an absolute blast and I can't wait for more features. With Mike's early success, after a couple weeks had passed and the bush starting to come alive with new growth, Mike and Garrett found themselves northbound for round two with Garrett in the shooter seat. Uh, back in the same spot, Mike got his. It's my first set. Was lucky enough to be here and get behind that camera for Mike's first ever uh, archery kill. A lot of work's gone into it. Honestly, it feels great to be successful for Mike. This will be my first uh, attempt at a black bear, so we'll see what happens. Wind's pretty decent, and we've had uh, five or six new bears, I guess, show up over the last week, so we'll try our hand at it and see what we can do. With the sun breaking through the clouds and temperatures rising, they caught black moving through the trees. We got two bears coming into the bait. So it's pretty quick, caught us by surprise. Mike's got the shakes already. When the bear took off running with some huffing, they saw a bigger black body coming up the hill. It's a shooter. It's a shooter bear. This beautiful bear hardly came in before chasing the other one away once again. But luckily for Garrett, it wasn't long before it was on its way back in. Oh, 
awesome experience. <laughs> victories. After recovering his victory arrow, a plentiful blood trail led him right to his bear only 40 yards away. Well, here we are, uh, recovered. First time ever trying baiting and uh, huge kudos to uh, Mitchell Payments Moment of Truth for uh, spending some time and coming out with us and getting us set up here. And, uh, awesome experience. Uh, first archery bear kill for me. Yeah, it's going to be a fun season. This is the first time I've uh, killed something with my bow this early anyway so a lot of fun with mike and garrett having some fantastic early success on a couple beautiful bears it's now kaylin's turn to try her luck and hopefully harvest her first ever black bear this segment is brought to you by tacticam the best first person hunting camera on the market made for hunters by hunters share your hunt while Mike and Garrett were in their pursuit for bears, Dad and I were on a mission to set up a new bait for Kaylin to hunt after our two baits in our existing area had been compromised by unwanted visitors. Using our iHunter app, we were able to locate a new huge vast forest area consisting of crown land with new and regrown clear cuts bordering farmland and private land, making for what we believe to be ideal bear habitat and a great spot for a new bait. Seeing a bear and bear tracks on the way in, it was looking very promising. After picking the bait location we got the barrels tied to the trees the stands hung and with the barrels loaded it was ready to rock after a day had passed on the bait's second nightfall we had our first visitor a beautiful boar had found the bait after that new bears continued to show up day after day and it was looking like kaylin might be in for an exciting hunt well it is may 29th and we're heading up to the bear bait finally the week kaylin has off work is here first things first we gotta load up this bait we were just here a few days ago and the bears have been hammering it we're gonna zip in there now load it up with some amazing pastry and some great meat so it's a beautiful day it's gonna be a beautiful few days at the lake do some fishing and some hunting so we're gonna head in there now and see what happens after loading the hammered bait site, it took a little over 30 minutes for the first bear to show, followed by a few more. Waking up at the lake that morning, I noticed a notification from the reveal cell cam on my phone. A giant bear had hit the bait just in time for Kaylin to hunt. Well, if he comes in, my knees are going to be shaking. He is a toad. Full of excitement and calling the bear Brutus, Kaylin grabbed her prime bow and victory arrows and took some practice shots before it was time to head to the stand. Sheesh, wouldn't want to be him if he does that tonight. Well, we just arrived to location. We parked a couple hundred yards away from the bait. We're gonna make our way in now. The whole way here, we're getting pictures sent to us of bears at the bait, just little guys. It's been a little lull period. We're gonna sneak in there now, get up in the tree, and pray Brutus comes in. Upon settling into the stand and just soaking in everything beauty spring has to offer and of course a delicious snack to help pass the time, it wasn't long before we spotted black coming our way. Watching this young bear was so awesome and even gave us a pretty good chuckle as he was quite the character. Once he was good and full, he moved off to where he came from and it wasn't long before we had another little hungry visitor. With the snap of a twig, we caught a bigger black body coming in our direction with a little shadow. Watching this big mama and her little one was an experience in itself. 
and how they interacted. All of a sudden, the cub reacted and ran, and Big Mama was on alert, and you could hear something coming. Fingers and toes crossed, we were hoping it was Brutus coming as we caught Black off in the distance, sending the cub to the very treetop. With Mama guarding the base of the tree, she ended up going in the direction of the other bear. After hearing some commotion and huffing, it wasn't too long later when she made her way back and with the coast being clear, the little one made its descent back down to Mama before leaving the area. With light fading, unfortunately no other bears made an appearance that night. We just got out of there and got back in the truck here and oh my gosh that was a great night great first night for galen in the stand this year and the great first night in that tree stand ever the sow and a cub came in there was a twig that broke she bluff charged that way and ran something off as the cub was going up and galen got a glimpse of a bear and she figures it might have been brutus the big boy so we're probably going to watch the trail cameras and we might be back here tomorrow or the next day we'll see but we're going to head on home now Enjoy the rest of the night and be right back at it. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by Revolution Armory, Canada's best custom shotguns. G5 Outdoors, designed to hunt. Burris Optics, find what matters. Reveal cellular cameras, always on the hunt. Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts. Score Ammunition, proudly Canadian, and by Tween Lake Feed Solutions, quality wildlife feed. I see something wiggling. Hey, I got one. Uh. The next morning, we woke up and did some netting for minnows. After catching quite a few and letting them die, it was time to try to put them to use. Coming. Wow. First cast. <laughs> Let them go to grow another day. Gotcha. <laughs> Ooh, he's putting up a fight. Peel in line. Ooh. Fish number two on the boat. Fish being caught by all on almost <laughs> every cast. We were having an amazing time out on the water, enjoying some gorgeous spring weather. That is a beauty. <laughs> After hooking lots of fish, we were out of bait and it was time to head to the bear stand for round two. Getting ready to go in for night number two and there was a bear just there 20 minutes before us so they're definitely in the area we're going to go in and hopefully Brutus makes an appearance tonight and uh, Keelan can get a victory arrow buddy. It wasn't long before the same young bear from yesterday came in to feed. But was quickly scared off by another young jaw clicking bear showing some attitude. This young boar didn't feed long before Big Mama and her little one came in to entertain us for the remainder of the evening. Unfortunately, no shooter bears made an appearance tonight. With Mike and Garrett's bait proving to be deadly this season and having some bear riding action on the reveal cell cam, Mike lent out the offer and said we should hit the stands and we did just that. Not long after getting settled in, the first bear made an appearance. As 
the rubbed up boar was leaving, we looked up and there was a beautiful bear coming right in. The perfect bear for Kay. Perfect shot, babe. Perfect. He's not going far. He's down. He's down just like that. Can you take it? Oh my gosh. I feel so good. Down right there. It doesn't get much better than that. That arrow went right through him. Oh, that was exciting. Oh my gosh. You got a beautiful bear, babe. Perfect. Oh, this is, he's so nice. As soon as I saw his face, I was like, yeah, he's going down. <gasps> Kaylin laid the hammer down. It didn't go 40 yards. Yeah. yeah I think it's a beautiful bear. Yeah. yeah. It has a start of a crease, a beautiful coat, just what we were looking for. Congrats, babe. That is an amazing bear. Kaylin's first archery black bear. How cool was that? We're going to get down and get after it. Victory arrow went right through him, covered in blood. Look at that. That's <laughs> awesome. There he is. <laughs> That's the most I've ever seen a bear bleed. That is such a nice bear. Holy smoke. Look at that. Well, everyone, here it is. My amazing, beautiful 2021 spring black bear. And I'm absolutely so happy to have a bear on the ground finally. We sat three nights, had some amazing encounters. And Kaylin had some close calls last year and it almost worked out. And we went into this year, we, she took a week off work and we gunned for it. And sure enough, here's the final result, an absolutely beautiful bear. I couldn't be any happier for you. I'm glad it worked out and uh, you just did amazing. So nice job, honey. Thanks for your help. And thank you to my dad for letting us use his yeah, bait. <laughs> absolutely, right on. Done deal, back at the track. Closed captioning is brought to you by Burris Optics. Find what matters.